Hey, and welcome back. All right, today I'm finally starting my declutter series. I've been talking about this series since last year and I'm so excited to finally be doing this. Now, my goals for this series is not to declutter everything that I have. Um, I spent a lot of money and a lot of time accruing these polishes and I'm not going to get rid of them just to get rid of them for the sake of a video or to make you guys happy. I know a lot of people thumbs down declutter videos if they don't declutter half their collection. That's not my goal. My goal is to just love everything that I have. I want every polish that I have to have a clear purpose and for me to love it. So if that means I only declutter two or three polishes per drawer, then you know that's how it's going to be. But I thought it would be fun for you guys to see this because I know a lot of people do enjoy declutters regardless of what gets decluttered. Um, I wanted to point out that I'm not going to be sharing swatches because I did just spend an entire year showing you guys my entire collection with swatches, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, my format for this is going to be, I'm just gonna pull out a polish, I'm gonna show you guys if I have a strong feeling one way or the other, keep it, declutter it, I will keep it or declutter it. If I'm on the fence about something, I might set it aside and then reassess at the end. If there's anything that I feel like they're possible dupes for each other, I will set them aside off camera. I will swatch them together, compare them, and then I will come back and I will show you the comparisons and then make my decision then. And if there's anything that I'm leaning one way or the other, I can't quite decide, I most likely will keep it especially if it's an untried, and I will most likely keep it at least until I've tried it. And maybe by the end of this series, we can, or I can reevaluate the ones that I was on the fence about. Maybe I'll have had time to try them in Manny's and make that decision at the end of the series. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first drawer is my light pink drawer. I do, I always say I don't like pink. I'm not a fan of pink, but I have a ton of pink. I have a fascination with collecting pinks, especially like baby pinks that I really don't wear. When I wear pink, I like them to be mid-tone or brighter. I love neon pinks and I do really like darker pinks on my toes. So let's go ahead and start. First one I have is Leah and this is my little mini by Zoya and I do really like this one. It has a really nice formula. So I'm going to keep that one. Have another mini this one i think is Brittany. yeah Brittany. this one is also a nice pink i don't i know there's a couple of ways that i have where i don't really like the tone i'm going to set this one aside i want to um, look at my swatches and decide on that one so i'll put that one there and then i have this one is an essie this one is rose to the top it's one of their um gel coutures i think I think I don't like this one. This is also one that, I don't know, it just, it's kind of like a, a nude putty pink and I don't think I like this one. I wanna set this aside and see, what, remind myself what the swatch looks like and see if it maybe pulls different on my nails, but I'm thinking I'll probably declutter that one. Okay, then we have China Glaze, Gimme Sugar. I love this one, definitely keep one. This, this is beautiful. It's just, I love it. Okay, then we have a kale that I frankened. This is Aquarius. I decluttered it and then I frankened it. And since I frankened it, I haven't worn it. It is nice, the form it like with my franken. It's a nice franken. It's a mid-tone pink. The glitters are cute. I just, I've never worn this. So I should probably declutter it. So I think I'll declutter that one. Okay, then we have OPI. Don't bossa nova me around. I had this one years and years ago because like when this first came out, everyone raved about this polish. Everyone loved it. So I got it and then the formula was terrible and so I decluttered it. And then since then, like maybe a year ago, people started talking about this polish again and they're saying the formula was amazing. Like maybe they reformulated so I bought it again. I still don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. I need to wear it at least once, but I have a feeling the formula is as bad as I remember it, so I'll probably end up decluttering that one again. Okay, then we have KL Hug and Roll. This one is nice, has a nice formula. I'm gonna keep that one. 
I don't know if I showed you. Okay, then we have Color Club, Take It or Leave It. I don't like this one. This one is just a blah, nothing on my nails. In fact, it's kind of, oh no, no, not similar at all, Never mind. <laughs> it's kind of similar to, I don't know, where they're just kind of like these soft, nudie pinks. I definitely don't need them all, but this one I for sure know I don't like. Okay, then we have KL Lumiere, kind of similar to the Aquarius that I frankened. However, this one I believe was a smidge darker, and this one I will keep. Okay, then we have a Glitter Days, and this is I Must Not Tell Lies. I like this one, it's got pretty flaky, it's got that little gold shimmer, I like that one. Okay, then we have Orly's Coming Up Roses. I thought I wore this before, but I guess I haven't. I really like this one, it has a really nice formula, and it's a nice mid-tone pink. I will probably pull this out for my toes this spring. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty, Love Something. Oh, I do. So it's a wedding polish. Um, I have a few of these kind of like baby pinks. I want to set them all aside, and then I will swatch them off camera, and then I'll decide which ones I'll keep because I definitely don't need five or six baby pinks when I really don't enjoy baby pinks. So I'll probably just keep one, maybe two, if they're slightly different um, tones. So I'm going to set this aside, and then at the end I'll come back after I've swatched everything. Okay, this one is Zoya's Mia. I really like Mia. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, this one is Hugh is the Artist. Another kind of soft babyish pink, but this one's just got like a, this one's like a whitened, a whitened one. I do like this one, although I haven't worn it yet, but it is a pretty color and I could see myself using this when I wanna do like just a very soft, kind of like what I'm wearing now, just a very soft mani with some sparkles on it. So I will compare this with the baby pinks. Okay, then we have Zoya's Kennedy. I like this one. This one is kind of like a putty pink, but it's nice. Although, I feel like the last time I wore this, it had a pretty bad formula. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna swatch that one because I, I feel like it was very sheer and jelly. It had a weird formula. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer's Blush Money. It's a very soft blush hollow, very pretty. I haven't worn this in a long time. However, it is really nice, and I am hesitant to get rid of, like the collector in me, to get rid of all my old KB Shimmer's, and there's nothing wrong with it. It still has a really nice formula, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have Essie's, what is this one called? Innocent. I like the tone of this one. Where they're kind of like this shade and darker, I, I enjoy these ones. Although, looking, oh it does have like, I was gonna say, looking at it compared to Mia, they look the same. This one does have a pink shimmer in it that's not coming across on camera. And I wonder if it comes across on the nail. So I'm gonna compare these two and then come back at the end. Okay, then we have Essie's Ballet Sneakers. This is another soft baby pink, like this. Like, look at these, these look the same. So I'm gonna end up keeping one. I'll probably keep the Essie, but I will come back with comparisons. Okay, then we have Fair Maiden's You Got It Dude. I love this, I got this from a friend. It's so pretty, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I think this will be really pretty in late spring, early summer. Okay, then we have Dolce de Leche. I love this one. This one is beautiful. It's ugly bobble syndrome, but it's a really nice polish. I have several where they kind of look similar by OPI, where they kind of look similar in the bottle. A few years ago, I did a comparison of all of them and they're all different. So even though they kind of look similar in the bottle, they're different. Okay, then we have Essie Mademoiselle. I got this one when I went to a bachelorette party several years ago, and then I ended up wearing this to the wedding. I wore this, it's a very sheer milky pink, and I wore this with um, like fairy dust on top, and it was really pretty. So I think, I have a couple where they're like sheer jellies. I think I will set them aside and then compare them all because I don't need them all, but they are all really nice, so we'll see. Okay, then we have Zoya's Zoe. Um, yeah, Zoe, it's really pretty. One of their pixie, original pixie dust. I like that one, I'll keep that. Okay, then we have China Glaze. 
Temptation Carnation. I got this one from Barb. She thought it, she, she wasn't sure if this was ugly or nice, so she got it for me so that we could twin with it. We haven't twinned with it yet, but I will say it's ugly. <laughs> so we might wear it for like a, sorry Barb. <laughs> we might wear it for like a fugly probably Friday <laughs> and I'll probably get rid of it. <laughs> or I'll probably keep it just because Barb gave it to me and it's, you know, funny. Okay, then we have Beyond the Nail Fire Devil. Got this one from a friend. I'm not sure about this one. I feel like, I don't know. It's pretty in the bottle. There's nothing wrong with it. It has a nice formula. I just don't see myself wearing this, so I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, then we have Orly's Marvelous. I really like this one. I've had it for several years. I haven't worn it. However, I did just do... Um, a duping my shopping cart video and I used this and it was really nice so I will eventually wear this when I wear my dupe okay then we have another plush that I got from a friend this is pretty beautiful prototype 227 this is pretty I just don't see myself ever wearing this nothing wrong with it, it had a nice formula I just don't think I'll wear it so I'm gonna declutter that one okay then we have OPI's bubble bath I swear I decluttered this a few years ago. It's one of those sheer milky um, baby pinks. I decluttered it, I could have sworn. And then I think I was on Pinterest years ago and I saw the most beautiful sheer pink Manny where they layered OPI and then they layered an Essie. I don't know which one it was. And then they did like um, fairy dust and it was so gorgeous. And I uncluttered this. And I haven't done that many, but I feel like bubble bath is such a classic that I feel like I would, I don't know. I feel like I should, the collector me should just keep it. So I'm just going to keep it. I don't want to stress myself, you know, with like, oh, I should have kept it. Okay. Um, polish for days, serendipity. I do not like this polish. I've had this for a few years and I've tried to wear it two different times and I just don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, then we have Mermaid Magic by LA Color. It's Mermaid Kisses. It's um, The line is Mermaid Magic. Pretty soft pink. This, I think, is really nice for duping certain um, like indie polishes off of polish pickup. So I'm going to go and go ahead and keep that. Then we have Essie's, what is this one? Base Fiddle. This is pretty, it's got a, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got a really interesting, yeah, there you go, like a silver sheen in it, it has a nice formula. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Okay, then we have Zoya's Kittredge, beautiful. I really like this one, it's really nice on the toes. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we have a symbol colors. This one is Honey Child from their B collection. I like this one, it's really pretty. I haven't worn it yet, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna try to wear it this spring, because I think that's a really nice one. Oh, that's bubble bath. Okay, KB Shimmers, a love heat relationship. This one's pretty. Um, I like the formula. The color is a little bit light. However, one sheer coat over something bright like this would be really pretty. So I am gonna keep this for combo purposes. Okay, then we have Orly's Beautifully Bizarre, which I decluttered a couple years ago and then I frankened it because that beautiful shimmer was non-existent on the nails, which is why I decluttered it. And then I had another polish that had the same kind of beautiful shimmer, and I used that to franken this, and it's much better now, and it's very pretty. I haven't worn it yet, story of my life, but it is really pretty, and I do like this franken, so I'll keep that one. Then we have Essie's, I think this is um, something jungle, urban jungle, this is really nice. I really enjoy this polish. It's a really beautiful, soft, nudie pink and it's got a really nice formula okay then we have lights lacquer and this one is how to quit you i feel like this is very similar to kl lumiere so i will do a comparison of this because i know you know this was she was the face of kl it, it turned out it was never even her brand which i think if you guys remember when she was a brand and you know it was like oh it's my brand and you know for a couple years and then the brand went out of business and if you 
learned about it, you learned that she, it was never her brand, that other, she had business partners, it was their brand, like they put up all the money and she was just the face of the brand. So it was never her brand, which I think was very deceiving. Anyways, then when she came out with her own brand, I feel like she took a lot of the formulas and carried them over and just renamed them. So look at those, those look pretty identical. So I'm gonna compare those. Okay, then we have OPIs. You've got Nada on me, really pretty, I like this one. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, Emily Damali, limited edition 163. This is beautiful. This is like the perfect blushy pink and it's got those gorgeous flakies. Absolutely beautiful, I love that one. Okay, then we have an LA color, love something, I think. Love. I franken this and I really like it. It's so pretty now with those little pink glitters in it. And has a really nice formula. Love this one, so I'll keep that one. Okay, then we have another Essie. This one is Suit and Tide. I feel like I did a comparison before to Orly, um, the Marvelous, and I feel like they were very similar. I can't quite remember. I think they might have been slightly off, but look at that. They look very similar, so I think I'm going to compare those. And then looking at, look at these. Like they all look, they all look the same, don't they? So I'm going to compare all of these, all four of these, and then decide which ones I want to keep. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer. All That Glimmers is one of their reflectives. I do not like reflectives, particular KB Shimmers. I think their reflectives are very thick and gritty. However, I have been wearing, the ones that I have, I have been wearing one thin coat over undies and that really helps because you still get the blingy factor of the reflective glitter, but you don't get the gritty, like the thick grittiness of building it up. So I'm, and I haven't worn this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. However, I do know there are some that I will be decluttering. Maybe not in this drawer, but I will be decluttering some of my reflectives. Okay, then we have Burial Greenwich Village at Dawn. I got several of these Burials. I wanna say it was maybe Trans Design. They're only like $2. Really, really beautiful. The brushes were horrible but I replaced, oh, I didn't replace this one. I will replace this one because when I replaced the brushes with, I can't remember if it was KB Shimmer or Cupcake Polish, but I replaced the brushes and they had beautiful formulas. So I will keep this one and I will replace the formula, the brush, because look at that um, green shimmer, really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have OPI, Getting Naughty on My Honeymoon. I like this one. It's kind of on the baby pink side, but it's brighter. So I do like this one. I'm gonna keep that one. It's nice on the toes. Okay, then we have Color Club Influencer. This is another one of those like putty pinks. So I'm gonna compare all of these and decide which one I want to keep. All right, then we have Uber Chick Pumpkin Spice Season. This is beautiful. This is a really pretty hollow so i'm gonna keep that one okay then we have essie's what's this one talk to the sand i do really like this one this is pretty it's nice and bright it's like a soft baby pink but it's it's bright i really like it and it's got like a tiny drop of peach in it but it's not a peach i can't do peaches but this one is really pretty so i'm gonna keep that one okay then we have polish the bell witch really pretty soft baby pink but it's got those beautiful gold flakies which is really nice, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we have, oh, this used to be a, a favorite, Glitter Days Icy Coral. I used to wear this all the time. Like, look at that, it's already down to there. I really like this one. I haven't worn this in a while, but it's really pretty, and I do like it. Okay, then we have, oh, I love this one, Zombie Claw Pumpkin Spice Everything Nice. This is so gorgeous, look at this. Beautiful, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, then we have Pink Pursuit by Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I need to see what the formula is like on this because it's very similar. Well, actually, I don't think I have anything like this one. This one's like a very whited baby pink, and I'm looking at all the baby pinks that I have over here. Maybe with the exception of, no, because this one's got purple in it. This one's a very whited baby pink. That's not a word, whited, but this is a very white baby pink. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, 
I forget what the formula formula is like on this. I'm gonna swatch this again and see what the formula is and then I'll come back, but I'll probably end up keeping it. Okay, then we have Color Club new, Neutral. I do not like this. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, OPI from Dusk Till Dune. This is the one. There's two. Yeah, this is the one that, this is so gorgeous. It's got those beautiful dainty blue flakies, but the formula on this is atrocious. I did four coats on this. It was still streaky. I then did my trick where you do, after the first coat, you let it dry completely. Then you do one coat of a matte top coat, and that really helps with tricky streaky formulas. However, I still had to do four coats, and with the matte top coat, it leveled out and it was no longer streaky, but I still had to do <clears throat> the four coats. So with the four coats and then the, the matte top coat in between, that's five coats, and then your top coat, that's six layers, just to get this polish to look okay. So I'm getting rid of this. It's a horrible, horrible formula. Okay, then we have Swan Perfect Strawberry Squirrel, one of my Dippin' Dots. I will not get rid of this. The Dippin' Dots collection is probably my favorite collection that I've ever had. Okay, then we have OPI Quest for Quartz. This one is beautiful. This one has a really nice formula. It's got like little silver sparkles in there. Really pretty like that one. Okay, then we have Glam Polish Lady Luck. Haven't worn it, but it's beautiful. I love it. I'm not getting rid of that. Okay, Fair Maiden's Tropical Fruit Tart. It's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. Then we have OPI, honestly devoted to OPI. I like this one. Any of the soft pinks that are OPI, I'm most likely gonna keep because OPI has a really good formula. So their softer baby pinks, I really like. And they all have slightly different mid-tone, like uh, undertones. Okay, then we have Rogue Lacquer's Popsicle, really pretty. This one has changed drastically. This one doesn't even look how it used to look. I think I wanna re-swatch that and see what it looks like because it kind of just looks muddy in the bottle. That's strange. I'm gonna swatch that. I might end up decluttering that one. Okay, then we have OPI. I'll have a gin and tectonic. I love this one. This one is so beautiful. I remember years ago, I went to get my nails done, which I'd never get my nails done. I forget why I was getting I think I, I think I was getting a pedicure actually. I don't know, but I had a different color picked out and then I saw somebody was getting her nails done with this and I said, what is that? And it was this and so I switched to this color and I love this, it's beautiful. Okay, then we have OPI's What's the Double Scoop. I really like this one, it has a really nice formula. I like to wear this one on the toes. Okay, then we have Essie's Lounge Lover. I love this one as well. It's beautiful. It's a bright corally pink. This is really nice on the toe. Will be really nice on the toes this summer. It's got a really nice formula too. Okay, Virago Varnish Laguna. I'm gonna get rid of this. I've had this for years and years and years. It was their bleached neon collection, and this used to be the most beautiful bleached purple. And then I wore it once, and then the second time I went to wear it again, I could not find it anywhere. And it turns out because it had turned to pink and every time I look at this I get so mad um, it has a really nice formula and I think I did try to franken this back to pink back to purple but it looks like it's it faded back to pink and now it's back in my pink drawers and I just every time I look at it I get mad so I'm gonna get rid of it okay then we have SE's um, Fiji this is a really nice has a really nice formula it's a nice bright baby pink so the ones that have a brightness to them are the ones that I like. The ones where it's just kind of like, you know, a pale baby pink, they're not my favorite. Okay, then we have Zoya's Flora. This one is pretty, I like that one. Okay, oh, I like this one. This is Color Club's Bouquet of the Day. This is so pretty. Look how bright that is, it's so fun. Okay, then we have, oh, I love this one. This one is a Franken that I made. This was Friends Forever, right? And it was just a very white 
soft pink and I frankened it with a bunch of glitters and I love this. It had a bad formula before and then when I added the glitters, it's just the most perfect formula. It's so pretty. It's a very soft white with just a drop of pink and I really, really like this one. I've already worn it a couple times. Then we have Morgan Taylor's Make Me Blush. This one's nice. It has a really nice formula. I feel like off camera, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through these again off camera because it seems like I'm having a lot of these that are kind of the same. Not that one, but I don't want these videos to be too, too long. So like I said, off camera, I'm going to go through again and I will do more comparisons off camera. And then when I come back, I might have decluttered a few more and I'll show you. Okay, then we have Island P. Juliet. Definitely keeping this. I've had this one for years and I haven't worn it, but it's so sparkly. Look at that, it's so pretty. Okay, Fair Maidens Holiday 2021. I'm on the fence about this. When I got this, it was on clearance. It was only like $6. And I went back and forth. I was like, I don't know. Swatches make it look like it's kind of pretty, but I don't know if I'll actually like it, but it's only $6 and I got it. And I don't think I love it. Um, I don't know, those flakies are really pretty, but it's just sheer and kind of, I don't know. I don't think I love it. I wanna maybe swatch this over a couple polishes, maybe like one of these darker polishes and see how I feel about it then. So I will swatch this. Okay, then we have Nidal Lacquer on the bright side. Okay, this is one that was in PPU and I was looking at it and then I didn't get it and then I was kind of regretting it and then I saw Carolina um, Carolina was talking about this and it was so pretty the way she had worn it. She had, I think she might've used undies over it, under it or whatever, but it was so pretty. And then I was able to get this on Nidal Lacquer's Overpour page. And I don't know, I just don't love it. I haven't been able to get it to look as pretty as it looked like on Carolina. So I think I'm going to declutter this so I can get rid of that. I China Glaze, in a sense, another of their sheer, of the sheer jelly pinks. This is the one that I had kept when I decluttered OPI's bubble bath. So I know I really like this one. I'm gonna keep that. And then the last one, this one is Rue. And this is another one of those kind of like putty pink ones. I think I decluttered. Um, no, it's darker. I thought there's another. There's a few that are kind of in this, um, color family, but I really like this one. All right, guys, that was everything. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do some comparisons on all these ones that I've set aside, and then I'll come back, I'll show you the comparisons, and I'll let you know when I'm going to keep it up. Okay, so I did a lot of swatching and comparisons. I'm going to just show you the nail wheels, and then I'll just show you the ones that I decided to declutter. Um, as you can see, for the most part, everything has very different undertones. This one, the puppy people, um, was that rogue. I did decide to keep it. It looks like it's got more ugly bottle syndrome than actually the polish being bad. It still looks relatively the same. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, this section is the section where they're all so very similar. So I did end up decluttering three of these. First one is Essie's Rose to the Top. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Mia, surprisingly, this used to be a very favorite, but this one had a really bad formula now. This was very sheer and jelly, and I had to do three coats to get it opaque. I believe it was this one. And then it looks almost identical to these two. This one was a color club, and this one, I can't remember what this one was. I think it might've been, I think this was the the SC that had the soft shimmer that I was on the fence about. And because these three are so similar, the Color Club and the SC definitely have better formula. So I'm gonna get rid of the Zoya, which is a shame. Although I have talked to Caroline in the past and she has told me that a bunch of her older Zoyas have gone bad and they have really weird, thin jelly formulas, which this was the first one that I've noticed it with. Although I did also say that if I remember correctly, Kennedy also had a weird, Kind of jelly formula and i did swatch kennedy i don't remember where it is and it did have a jellyish formula but it got fully opaque in two coats so i kept that one and then the other one that i'm getting rid of that's in this 
family is the Kale Lumiere. This one also has a weird jelly formula, three coat segate opaque. I want to say it's, it's this one. So I'm getting rid of three. And then everything else that I swatched, I have more over here. Everything else that I've swatched all has very different undertones. Like, look at this. None of them are as similar as I thought maybe they were. This one's kind of on camera coming across similar, but this one is much more white and this one has more pink in it. It's just hard to see on camera. But everything has different undertones. They all, everything that I'm keeping has nice formulas. So of everything that I swatched off camera, I'm getting rid of these three. I did decide to keep the Fair Maiden that I was on the fence with. It does have really nice potential with undies. So I can see myself using this for combos and also I am trying to expand my dupe it series so I do feel like this will have a purpose in that sense. So let's go over everything that I'm decluttering. We've got Color Club, Color Club, We've got this um, Polish for Day Serendipity. We've got this Beyond the Nail. We've got the Virago Varnish. Gonna get rid of OPIs. The From Dusk Till Dune has a terrible, terrible formula. I am going to get rid of my KL Franken. Getting rid of Mia. I'm gonna declutter this pretty beautiful. I feel so bad about getting rid of the Night Owl, which kind of makes me think maybe I should keep it and play around with it some more because I do know that I had such bad FOMO when I didn't get this and then getting it, I was so excited. So part of me thinks I should keep this. I'm on the fence. I think this is gonna be one that I set aside and then at the end of the series, um, I will reevaluate the ones that I set aside. Okay, and then getting rid of this Essie and then getting rid of the Kale. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm getting rid of 11, possibly 12, but for now we're gonna say I'm getting rid of 11 and that's actually pretty good for me. I'm happy about that. So. I think that's a good go for my first part. There's going to be at least 22 parts because I have 24 Helmer drawers. I don't know that I'm going to declutter my Halloween or Christmas drawer. I might do them as one video, but I really don't see myself decluttering anything within those drawers. So possibly 22, maybe 23 parts. I'm just going to label them declutter part one and then based on the thumbnail, the color of the thumbnail is how you'll know um, kind of like what color category I'm decluttering. Um, if you guys have any, have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.